Well, thank you for coming in. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia, talking psychology through theology. Psychology through theology. And in our last talk in Proverbs 22, we learnt that a prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions to protect their relationship, while the simpleton goes blindly on and suffers in the consequences of bad behaviour in the relationship which affects themselves and everyone else around them. And we also learnt that corrupt people walk a thorny and treacherous road. They don't care. Any whole will do, more or less. But whoever values life will avoid it, because true humility and the fear of the Lord lead to riches, honour and long life. And the simpleton, corrupt, treacherous person, negates these things. They just negate it. They don't care. They don't care about what they suffer. They don't care about the consequences. They don't care about the thorns and the treachery that they go through when they follow their sinful nature. Verse 6. Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. Reverse that. If you direct your children onto the wrong path, when they are older, they will not leave it. Just two or three weeks ago, my daughter arrested a meth addict who murdered his father in the home. And all the father did was love and care for the guy. The guy was 30 or 40 year old and the father was killed for his effort by the son. A lot of these people aren't realising how much damage they're doing by enabling their children on the wrong path. Punch this in, right? I've just punched this in, just right now as we do this video. I've just punched it into Google or whatever it is. Son charged with murder following the death of his mother in Bankstown, Sydney, house fire. A man has been charged with murder following the death of his mother in her home. Okay. <laughs> Son on bail accused of killing mum before setting home a light. He tried to kill the evidence. He killed his mum and then set, tried to set the house on fire to, set, to hide the evidence. Son kills mother in Long, Long Guil. Two women killed, man arrested in double, double homicide in Long Guil. Police charges are expected to be laid Thursday against a man who was arrested in connection with the double homicide of two Quebecian women, I'd say. He killed his mother. Son kills mother. This is 19 days ago. That was 11 days ago. That was 7 days ago. Throws himself into a well in Kayambu. 45-year-old man murdered his mother, who was 75. 45. We're finding that a lot of these... 40 to 50 year olds are killing their parents. They're realizing that their parents haven't raised them right. These are the black sheep. These are the people that are, um, they may not be the black, black sheep any, uh, actually, the black sheep usually escape. These are the ones like the scapegoat or golden child who lives have passed them by, by way of not being directed onto the right path by their parents and when they're older they don't leave it they don't leave the wrong path and a lot of these people kill their parents out of bitterness and grudges for what they did by the way in which they raised them teenage boy arrested as woman is killed in disturbing awfully attack posted online Uh, 
Saginaw County man, four days ago, mother struck. Ute man struck mother six times with hatchet. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not making this stuff up. I mean, you people think it's a joke out there. These parents, these parents here, the ones that aren't directing their children on the right path, they're filling them with alcohol, dope, medications and other ridiculous ways of living, are being murdered by their children. Nineteen-year-old booked with fatality shooting, mother in Ponchatoula. Nineteen-year-old shot his mother to death. Masula man accused of killing his mother awaits trial and scheduling. Your work's done. Man kills mother as she couldn't as she couldn't him bride. Son kills mother. An eccentric son killed his mother by crushing her with a stone. Then to mislead the police, he cut off her legs, cut off his mother's legs and stole her silver anklet so that the police would think, this is the length that they go to, that his mother had been killed for theft the police informed about the case on Thursday and there's the story I'm just showing you um, that these people that think they're raising their children the right way and they're not they don't realize that if these people wake up a lot of them wake up later in life and they turn and look at the parent and go you robbed me of my life because she didn't parent me right and they kill their parents now you might think that's a joke it's not a joke it's real life this is what they're doing and it's happening all the time so when somebody comes into a household like this where everybody's just out of order Nobody's on the right path. They're just being directed by the parent to believe this is the way to live. They got mental health issues. They're struggling with all sorts of dysfunction. They're watching the mother being ran through by different men and then ruining relationships. They're contributing to the ruin of the relationships so the next person come in and fill the hole. Later in life, when these people realise they've been misled by these dysfunctional parents, the potential for them to harm, maim and kill these people is high. How would you feel if you realised you were raised wrong and you fell for it all right through your life, only to look back and go, they just helped me waste my life? Because the way in which you domestically form your children, there's a high percentage that they will not leave that way. So, where does that leave you? What example have you set for your children and how do you, how have you represented that you think they should live? It's heavy stuff because this lack of parenting, this disabling in parenting by over support, passing on generational destructive habits and mindsets. Fancy teaching children that money's not important. I've, I've never heard of anything like it. Money's not important. Well, wouldn't you mind go, well, I don't need to go to work. If money's not important, why would I go to work? You know, it just doesn't... No, it doesn't... It doesn't work. Money is important. That's just one thing. What about... Dope. Smoking dope. We all know it ruins your life. 
be it medicinal or not, it alters the course of your life. Alcohol alters the course of your life. And these parents are just turning a blind eye. Reckless sex alters the course of your life. And these people don't depart from it. They just stay on it until they die. They don't have a long life. They cut their lives short because the simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. And it all comes back to not directing your children onto the right path. A lot of you people need to stop and repent and find a way of getting your children on the right path as soon as possible. Because it could go bad for you and they could very well want some answers. I've been ripped off a lot of things in my life. A lot of things. But I was a black sheep. I broke out of my family when I was 14, 15, 16. And I was lucky. I had a mother that was very hard and firm and counseled me the right way. My stepdad, well, he was hard and firm too. I got some beltings and I learnt from that. I wouldn't say his example of life was the best way to go, but I learnt from that as well. I learnt from other people's evil and I became a black sheep and said, no, I'm not gonna continue in this. And I'm sure my grandparents and parents would look now down and go, well, he did better than us. Well, I thank them for what they taught me and showed me. And I hope my girls, my girlfriends, look back and go, I thank him for what he tried to show us, because he, all he tried to do was show us good. And if they don't, well, it makes no difference to me. We all go forward. But if you haven't directed your children onto the right path, <laughs> and when they get older, they don't leave it, don't be upset at all when they go blindly on in their lives the way you showed them and suffer the consequences because nine times out of ten they won't have a long life I've had dozens of friends that have drugged themselves to death drank themselves to death um, been murdered you name it all drug related all alcohol related car crashes bike accidents raped I flew up to Queensland to see a girl from school a couple of years ago because she'd been raped she just wanted me to sit with her stayed the weekend and, and left she was in a terrible mess she'd been raped drunk raped on the Gold Coast no no no. Many of you have had the opportunity to go in the right direction in life. And you've, you've played the simpleton. You really have. And you've just gone blindly on knowing what's better and stuck with suffering the consequences of the lifestyle you chose. Nobody else but you. And it might be time for you to turn and have true humility instead of worthlessness and fear the Lord and come back into the place where what you're doing produces riches, honour and long life. Because for many of you it's not happening and you've passed it on to your children. You have not directed them onto the right path and when they're older they are not going to find their way off it and they are not going to have a happy, honourable, long life. And you need to look in the mirror. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me. And bye for now.